I really want to kiss her, but I don't want to get lip gloss on her. So I just have to hold my corner. Okay. So guys, today's video is going to be about my pregnancy and just like what I enjoy, like the truth behind my pregnancy, baby daddy drama, all of that. Right, so let me take you back to 2015. 2015 is when I crossed paths with my daughter's dad. We'll give him the name of James. Um, I'll give him that name because it's quite similar to his name. <laughs> and... <laughs> and um that's what i thought his name was because his instagram name's like j945 um i thought his name was james before i met him so me and jane in 2015 um me and james were met at a party no we spoke before then but it was like i had a boyfriend and he had a girlfriend so it was kind of like dead then 2015 came and i was split up with my boyfriend he was split up with his girlfriend and was at a party and um yeah we ended up kissing at the party but it just never went nowhere like I went back to my ex he was doing whatever he was doing and yeah so fast forward to, to summer 2016 um me and my ex broke up because my ex was in jail then when you're in jail and you've got 23 hours of the day to harass some not harass when you're in jail and you've got 23 hours of the day and you've just got one person to speak to basically it gets a bit intense do you know what i mean he was really overprotective before he went to jail so when he was in jail it was just a, it was a bit mad and it got to the point where it was like i'm a big woman you know you're not going to tell me what to do so me and my ex ended up breaking up um, so I went to a party when we broke up and I crossed paths with James at the party. Um, from there, James, like I deleted James and everything I've snapped. But from the party, he got my number from Tory and he messaged me. Um, one sec. So he got my number and he messaged me, right? But when he messaged me, like, I, I always knew I was going to go back to my ex. So, it was kind of dead. Do you know what I mean? Wait a minute, I just need to check if she's okay. So, anyway, yeah, he got he took my number and he messaged me. Let me try and just speed up this bit, like, the backstory. He took my number and he messaged me. And then, from that message, we was, like... I kind of friend zoned in and he didn't mind being in the friend zone to be honest and he was in that friend zone for like a whole year right and in that year me and my ex was very on again off again break up make up break up make up then one of the times we was broken up my ex asked for a girl's number he asked for a girl's number and I was just like you know what regardless whether we're together or not like I've really been doing this jail thing like I really come and visit yeah every two weeks like, I leave uni, I leave London, I come and visit you, like, I, I'm, what, what, whenever you need anything, I'm there, and you're asking for people's numbers, like, you're done out here, so I broke up with my ex, like, for good, and then I kind of G-checked myself, because I was just like, Aaliyah, you're taking a piss, like, it's been two years, like, two years, if you know what I mean, and you're holding down this boy that can't act right like he can't act right on the road he can't act right in jail so just let it go so that's what i've done and then james was just there like he was just there ready on a plate because we had already formed that friendship and we had been friends for the last year he was just there yeah so mine and my ex's relationship broke down so that's when i started to take james a little bit more seriously and you know we started to like see each other and when we started to see each other we just wasn't careful don't get me wrong like i did go like we both done std checks sex which has been did it? yes std checks because i weren't about to have sex with someone that out you know he's out here like I know his trash. Before we started sleeping together, he, we was good friends, like we was like best friends. So he would tell me about the times he'd go to the club and bring girls back and whatnot. So we 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 done STD checks and I went on the pill, right? Because obviously I wasn't having sex before because you know my boyfriend was in jail. So I went on the pill and we both done STD STD checks, and yeah, we moved. Um, I for a year. 
I didn't get pregnant. I, I, I wasn't taking the pill properly for the whole year. Like, I don't know what, like, I just was, I don't know, it's, I forget. Like, even my iron tablets, like, do you think I take them? I forget. I forget, do you know what I mean? And it was a thing like, if we hadn't protected sex, I'll just take like eight pills. Like, if I missed a day in a week, I'll just take eight to compensate for the day that I missed. So, when I found out I was pregnant, um, me and, okay, so let's get into that bit, when I found out I was pregnant. So, it was March 2018 and I just didn't feel, so I just knew something wasn't right, but I was really putting pregnancy in the back of my head, like, being pregnant was not on the agenda and it was just like not for James definitely not for James because although he's my f good friend and I love him to death he's not someone that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with he's not someone that I looked at and thought yeah man that's hubs do you know what I mean because of the lifestyle that he lives like he's an aspiring footballer and um, he plays for like Mary Hill football team so he's like an aspiring footballer so he feels like to be in the club every single week and to just be doing dumb shit all the time that's the way forward whereas when he was my ting let me just sorry for my terminology but when he was my link or my ting it didn't affect my life what he'd done but moving forward i didn't want to marry him i didn't see a future with him he was just fun for now do you know what I mean so to be pregnant for him I was just like N please no oh no god so yeah I was just in denial I was in so much denial um but so it was that it was that snow weekend it was that snowy weekend in March the 4th of March found out I was pregnant it was that snowy weekend and Sasha was like let's just go do a test like, you haven't come on your period. I come on my period the first of every month. I hadn't come on my period for March. So it was just like, oh, fuck. So we went and done a test. And literally, I'll insert a clip. I'll insert a clip now. Basically, when I done the, a te the test, as soon as I weed on that stick, it said it was pregnant. Yeah. Oh, I need to weed on the Sasha. What? Why the fuck is it coming for a bed pregnant? That's just why. No, Sasha. No, Sasha. No, Sasha. No, Sasha. No, Sasha. What the fuck? No. What the fuck? No, no, just fine. No, Sasha. Sasha, Sasha, what the fuck? Because I knew, even though the circumstances was wild, I knew I'd regret having an abortion and I knew it would mess me up mentally if I went forward with the abortion. So yeah, I found out I was pregnant and then I I remember, okay, so let me tell you the story. So I found out I was pregnant and I was like, oh my God, Sasha, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Because me and Sasha found out in my bathroom and we were coming here in my bedroom. And I was like, what are we going to do? I can't believe it. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? And then I was, I was like, I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it. A few weeks before, I had read that this man weed on a pregnancy stick, but because he had like kidney cancer that's why the pregnancy said come back positive so i was like it's fine like honestly i've just got a bad kidney so i'm gonna go to the gp tomorrow and get my kidney scanned or see what i can do about my kidney because there's no way i'm pregnant so i did that the month so this was the sunday night so the monday morning i left work early i emailed my manager i told her i need to go to the doctor's today i make up the time went to the doctor's and i remember i sat down to the doctor I was like, because I've had the same doctor since I was like seven. So I sat down. Oh no, the baby's waking up. Oh my god. So I sat down and I was like, Sally, there's something wrong with my kidneys. And she was like, What are you talking about? I was like, I've done a pregnancy test. She's just like, she like talks in her sleep. I was like, I've done a pregnancy test and it's come back positive. There's something wrong with my kidneys. And she's like, when's the last time you had sex? I told her. She's like, when's your last period? I told her. She was like, Leah, I, th I think you're pregnant and it's a clear blue stick. Yeah, you're very much pregnant. And I was thinking, why do you people like listen? I just told you it's my kidneys. Like, I am not pregnant. Like, don't tell me I'm pregnant. I'm not. Don't do it. Pregnant for her. Stop it, Sally. Um... And she was like, here, I'll take this sample, go and wee, and I'll do one of my pregnancy tests. So I went and wee, brought it back. She's done a pregnancy test. She's like, Leah, I've done three tests. You're pregnant. Like, what do you want to do? These are your options. You can adopt, abort, or keep the baby. 
I've got to say, I'm making another appointment, I need to go. So I went and I went to the chemist and I bought £30 worth of tests because Sally weren't listening to me and, you know, I bought, I bought the digital ones, you know, the clear blue digital ones. Like, if you need one, get at me because I only use two. So we done it, it come up pregnant two to three weeks. We done it, come up pregnant two to three weeks. And these are the digital ones now and I was like, oh, okay. I was like, what am I going to do? Like, how the hell am I pregnant? So I told my daughter's dad. And the way I told him, don't get me wrong, I, I hold my hands up. When it came to, like, breaking the pregnancy and that to him, and, like, dealing with the situation, I was difficult. But I was difficult because I, was, I felt like I was backed into a corner. I felt like I was pregnant and... I didn't know what I wanted to do and I was just defending myself and my baby because I knew what he would say straight away, do you know what I mean? Because I know he's a selfish boy and I know what he would say. So I met a text him, we weren't even talking, you know when I found out I was pregnant, we wasn't even talking. So I sent him a picture of the pregnancy test and I was like, just thought I'd let you know that I'm pregnant and I'm keeping the baby and yeah. And then he was like, huh? He's like, I'm on the phone, he's like, I'm on the road, I'm gonna phone you as soon as I get in. But then he phoned me like half an hour later and he's like, what the fuck do you mean you're pregnant, Elia? Chatting rubbish. And I was like, listen to me, James. James, listen to me. Stop it. I was like, yeah, I'm pregnant. And I was going back and forth and he was like, we're not having a baby. And I was just like, who are you talking to? I was like, we can adopt. We can adopt the baby. He was like, where are you now? He's like, come and see me right now. He's like, drive to my mom's house right now. And I was like, I'm not coming to see you because I generally thought it's going to beat me up. <laughs> like, I thought, like, you know, we watch films like kiddohood and adulthood and they're like really ghetto. Even though he's, he's ghetto, but he's not bad. You see my baby daddy? My baby. But James is ghetto, but he's not bad. Do you know what I mean? But I thought, because of like his anger and he don't want to have this baby, if I go to him, he's going to beat me up. So I didn't go. I was like, I'm not going. I was like, I just want to make this decision on my own. I don't want you to poison my brain. Do you know what I mean? I don't want you to influence me to do anything I don't want to do because I'm vulnerable at the minute. Let me just take a breather and I'll tell you what I'm doing with the pregnancy. Then when I give you my decision, you can decide then whether you want to be involved or whether you don't, right? So, but bear in mind, we was good, like, this This is what I can't, oh, I'll, I'll get to that at the end, anyway. So, he was like, no, you need to come and see me, you need to come and see me. Then he told his mum, he told his brother, he told Shaq, he told the world. And I was just like, we, uh, we don't even know what we're doing, like, why are you telling the world? Like, are you attention seeking? Like, do you do you want attention that bad? Like, why are you telling everyone? These times, I've only told Sasha and Rhiannon, you know, so I don't understand why this boy's telling the world and their cousin because if I look at if I have an abortion now all these people are gonna know what I done homicide to the child so um what happened now he what happened he told everyone okay so this was Monday night and we were just going back and forth back and forth and I, I just ended up turning off my phone and going to sleep because I was just like you know I got a baby to think about I'm not fucking arguing I'm not arguing <laughs> so then Tuesday come, he's like, Leah, you need to see me, da -ra, da -ra. but then he had football Tuesday, football, football, so he had football Tuesday, so he he wasn't really pushing me to see him Tuesday night, thank you Jesus, and then he's like, Leah, I swear to God, no, no, like, no going back tomorrow, I'm seeing it tomorrow, and I was okay, so Wednesday come, and I went to see him, and we literally, we sat in, we sat and we spoke for hours like I remember I met him about eight and I didn't leave him till like two in the morning and we sat and we spoke for hours we went back and forth it's your fault it's your fault why didn't you do this how come you didn't do that this that and the other then we talk about baby names and then he was saying I have to call the baby his last name I was like I'm calling the baby long like it was just a bit much and then that to conclude, it was like, we'll just speak to our mums, we write a letter to the baby, and then we're going to link up Friday, and we'll talk about it Friday, right? But then Thursday came, and my ex phoned me. Thursday came, and my ex phoned me from prison, because, yeah, he phoned me, and obviously, he's someone that, he was a big part of my life, and people still associate me with him and still associate him with me. Do you know what I mean? Like, he come out of prison and i got people saying, I just saw, da -ra. I just saw him with a ting, I just saw this, I just saw... Do you know what I mean? Like, people still, even though we're very much not together, um, 
speaking of the devil, even though we're very much not together, people still associate us. And we're cool, like me and my ex are cool, so he phoned me just to phone and I was just like, oh my god. And he's like, what? I was like, I'm pregnant. And he's like, sir, the fuck down. And he was the first person that spoke to me on a level, like he was just like to me, Aaliyah, listen, like you're about to have a baby with a joke, man. Do you want that for your life? Like, do you want to have a baby with a joke, man, and raise a child on your own? You don't want to do that, so just have an abortion and you'll get through it like he, he's like you'll get through it like he really gave me at the time i thought it was good advice and i was just like you know what i'm just gonna have this abortion like because he, i don't know like my ex just really made it sound comforted so i said to james i said to him i'm gonna have an i bought an abortion and i said to james i'm gonna have an abortion and he was like ah oh, like he was happy basically and he was like can i come with you i just want to be there for you da, 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 da. you know when boys just chat rubbish when they get their own way so yeah i booked this abortion then days when i remember i had to speak this was thursday night right um and as soon as i found the people bought the abortion but with if the, in the UK the abortion system is a joke, like they give you a week, they do. I feel like they do it on purpose. Your abortion, you'll book the appointment, but the appointment's not till the next week, so you've got like ages to think about it and process it. Then you've got to go through like you got to go for a therapy session, you've got to go for counts now, therapy session, and then there's one more session, and then it's the abortion, so it's a long process. Do you know what I mean? In the UK, so. I bought the abortion on the Thursday night and then I told James, yeah, I'm going to have an abortion. And just saying them words out loud actually made me have a breakdown. They literally made, like, I literally had a breakdown and I remember I left my house, I got in my car and I got off. I drove to Shanice's grave and Shanice is like, I, I don't think I've told you that about Shanice, but Shanice is like my good childhood friend that passed away like suddenly in 2016 so I drove to Shanice's grave and I remember just bawling my eyes out I sat there and I cried and cried and cried and it was it was snowing in England and all I had on was a nightgown I didn't have no clothes on you know and I just sat there for I was crying 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 and then I remembered that one of the conversations that me and Shanice had the last one of the last conversations me and Shanice had was about kids she told me that when she finishes uni she's gonna start trying for a baby and I was like girl bye like on your own like, I ain't having no baby till it gives me the rock like that was my saying I'm not pushing out no kid until I'm wifed up you do not do, do you get it like do you get do you get it so I remember that conversation and I remember then I was like wait I'm crying because God has put a life inside my belly and I'm sitting by my cousin, by my friend's grave who didn't even get this chance. I go, fuck James, I'm keeping this kid because regardless, a child only needs her mum, like I'm not even being petty but a child only needs the mother because the mother is the key taker, don't get me wrong, a father is a bonus but I, uh, to be honest, my mum raised me on her own and I'm fine, like, I don't want for nothing, I'm, I'm a good person, do you know what I mean, like, it's not that deep, like, I've got good morals, I'm educated, it's not that deep, so I was like, yeah, I'm keeping this kid, I'm keeping this baby, right, so I told James, I didn't, I didn't even tell, no, I didn't, when I got home, I had loads of missed calls from James, from my friends, the police was at my house, because they thought I was going to kill myself, so... I got home and what happened? James was just trying to talk like he was just happy I was having it like he thought I was having an abortion like he was just like I'll I'll come with you to the abortion you know you're not on I'm not gonna make you go through this on your own like I've got you yeah, this that and the third chatting is rubbish you know chatting rubbish right so the Monday come I told him I've got the counselling on the I was like I don't want you to come with me like. Don't, I, I'm never going to talk to you again, like I'm never talking to you again. So the Monday came and um, 
I had a therapist session and the therapist session was just confirmation that I wasn't having an abortion because in a nutshell the man was just like you can do this on your own like you don't need no man da -da -da. and I was like yeah man like you, you, you get it like you really get it you get it so um it was time to break the news to James that I wasn't having an abortion. So I told him, he's like, are you sick in the head? Why would you tell me you're doing it and you're not going to do it? Oh my God, if this was anyone else's baby, you wouldn't want to keep it. This boy's going to like his Drake, you know. I was thinking, James, you James from Handsworth. You don't drive and you play for Mary Hill United. Just chill out, like, stop it, stop it. Do you know what I mean? What do you mean? What do you mean if it was anyone, anyone, anyone else's baby? Nigga. Nigga. Like, who are, like, who are you? Like, who, like, who? I just had to G-check him, like, huh? Like, what? Like, what? So he's like, yeah, it was anyone else's baby, Aaliyah. You wouldn't want to keep it, this, that, and the third. I was like, nah, you're bugging. I was like, are you trying to say I'm trapping you? He's like, no, I'm not saying you're trapping me. I was like, all right, then let's leave it there. Because he could never, he could never, ever tell me I trapped him. Because realistically, without sounding ignorant or like a snub, if I was about to, if I was to go to the government and say, I've got this you, this boy's baby, oh, can they would say you earn more money than him you're paying him do you know like that so uh, trap who trap who all right then so he was like yeah da, da, da. it's just it just turned a bit nasty and i was just like oh i'm not arguing with you this that and the other blah 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 so days went on and i blo i remember I blocked him off everything i was just like oh, honestly james fuck off because you're annoying you are irritating and then I was just preying, 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 preying. And I came across his ex's Instagram. Bear in mind, this is an ex from, this is an ex from like 2014, 2015. So I come across that Instagram. Don't, it's gonna draw. I come across that Instagram and Twitter, sorry. And she must have tweeted or retweeted something like, oh now he's got you pregnant and he don't want you or the baby and you know when you just feel a bit like i was paranoid as it is because i didn't want people to know i was pregnant because i didn't know what i was doing so i said to him did you tell this girl that i'm pregnant and he's like yeah i told her and i lost my head i hung up the phone and then he was like he messaged me on twitter and he was like obviously i didn't tell her she knows about us but she don't know there's a baby why would why would she know there's a baby but in my head you broke up with this girl in 2013 what do you mean she knows about us because i have no legs to stand on to ask my ex who is dealing with so why would she have any legs to stand on to ask you about me do you know what I mean? So I was just like, huh? Like, you're not making sense. He's like, Aaliyah, I don't know how she knows, but she knows. But that's not our issue. Our issue is the baby. No, I was like, no, this is an issue because you've lied. You've clearly been lying. Since, for the last two years, you've been lying about this girl. Are you a weirdo? Right? And he was just like, no, Aaliyah, drop that. Let's talk about the baby. Right? So then he could see me getting worked up about this ex. So when I'm in work, he sends me a message like, I've got something to tell you. I goes, what have you got to tell me now, James? He's like, yeah, like, me and me and my ex have been talking. I was like, are you taking a piss? Like, if you wanted to talk to her, that's fine, but you don't chase me as well. You can't have your, your bed and eat it. Your bed and eat it. You can't have your meal and eat it, do you know your what I mean? Cake. Your cake. Mm. <laughs> ah. You can't have your cake and eat it. You choose one or the other. Do you know what I mean? So he was just like, yeah, well, we're talking now. And then I was just like, you know what? get off my line, blocked him, blocked him on WhatsApp, right, but then that night, he left me all day, then that night he messaged me, he goes, hi Aaliyah, me again, just thought I'd tag, this is how much, this is when I realised he's a lunatic, he goes, just thought I'd let you know that um, me and my ex, we, we are going to get back together and we're going to build a life together, so I'm not going to have nothing to do with the baby, so you and the baby, if you have the baby, it's on you, da -da -da -da. And I thought, this boy is deluded. Like, I genuinely thought he was lying because the same ex he's talking about has watched me and this boy in the club all over each other. She's watched us leave and go home together. She knows that we deal, that we've been dealing. Like, her friend has been around us in social environments. Do you know what I mean? So I genuinely thought 
he was lying to get me to have an abortion so I thought nah this boy's mad like it's a lunatic it's nuts but I just left it and I said you know what whatever James but then I thought you know what I can't I can't do that it was all just too much so I booked another abortion <laughs> I did book another abortion I booked another abortion and then I messaged him I was just like you know what I'm gonna let this situation go I let him go so I messaged him I was like look I'm gonna have an abortion I want you to know I forgive you I wish you and your ex the best of luck I'm rooting for you this and that you know being a good person because I was like you know what I'm letting the situation go I'm letting the situation go then so I put it Okay, so he's in his head, he thinks I've had an abortion, right? But then my abortion was booked for the 29th of March. My uncle passed away the 27th of March, right? And I remember being in hospital and I thought, what's the difference between my, my uncle's life and my child's life? There's no difference. Do you know what I mean? So it's not up to me to kill an innocent baby because of who her father is. Do you know what I mean? When I can just protect her from her father when she gets here. Because when on judgment day, when I go to God and I'm trying to do ten toes in heaven, and it's like, sis, what about that? What about that child I give you in 2018? I say what it is, like, basically, like, what was I going to say? Like, I wanted to go to 101, so. So, when it came to, right there, because I think my child's working now. So he was like, I'm not telling him I didn't have an abortion because he's building his life. So go build your life. I'll just handle this on my own. That was my attitude to him because don't tell me oh, I'm going to build a life and expect me to answer to you. Go build your life. Do you know what I mean? So some months passed and obviously we all, we have friends in common. I fell out with Shaq because Shaq told me to have an abortion. So I stopped speaking to Shaq. And so the only one out of all of us, uh, and I felt like with Ryan, so the only one I was speaking to was Tori. So obviously Tori's my guy, Tori's the realest of them all, can't lie, Tori is the realest of them all. Um, Tori must have knew I was pregnant and Tori must have been like to James, oh baby dad, baby dad, ah, that was me, congratulations. So James was like, huh? She's still pregnant, and Tori was like, yeah, she's still pregnant. So he's like, tell her to unblock me. Tell her to unblock me, I need to chat to this girl. Tell her to unblock me. And don't get me wrong, I'm laughing because it's awkward. I'm not laughing because it's funny. So he's like, tell her to unblock me, I need to chat to this girl. So I was like, no, I'm not unblocking him. And then Tori kind of backed me up. Tori was like, Leah, it's not about you. There's a baby involved, da, da, da. So I unblocked James. I unblocked James, he's like, explain yourself. But anyway, I'm pregnant, you know, like, I'm a whole five months pregnant at this point. Don't shout at me. Do you know what I mean? I'm with child. Hello. So he's like, explain yourself. And I was like, what do you mean explain myself, James? He's just like, so why didn't you have an abortion? I was like, because I didn't want to. He's like, so why didn't you tell me? And you're fucking selfish. You went all these months making me think you had an abortion. I've told my mum you had an abortion. Da -da -da. You're selfish. He goes, you know what? You and that baby can just go and die. Don't get me wrong, I understand I should have told him I didn't have an abortion or I should have kept him updated because it's his child too. I hold my hands up to that. I was wrong for that. But the baby is innocent. She's an innocent little girl. What do you mean you and the baby should go and die? What? Did she ask for you to plant your seed? No. What do you mean she should go and die? So I said, fuck this nigga. Like, I'll never chat to him again. Right, so I hung up, blocked him on every, blocked him, it was all the blocks on everything, and then he like carried on with my life. About a week later, this was in April, because it was just before I got my apartment. So, but I put, okay, so like a week later, he messaged me, he was like, you know what, I'm leaving you to do your thing, fucking bitch. <laughs> he messaged me, and the boy said, the 23 year old boy said to me, I'm leaving you to do your thing, fucking bitch. Um, what did he say? He goes, me and my ex are having a baby, so you're just going to look like a side chick. Mm -hmm. Like, chatting, chatting rubbish. Like, I generally looked at the message and laughed. And I was just like, he's mad. He's lost it. So, yeah. So, I was just like, what a fucking lunatic, right? And I was like, I've been doing my thing, like, since I found out I was pregnant, I brought a Mercedes, I put down the deposit and stuff from my house. I'm just waiting for the keys for my new apartment. What about you? 
you promoting for one on one still or asking for a friend? Right there. Yeah, so I was just like, what a fucking weird. I blocked the number that he messaged me on and I was just like, this boy is a freak. So then months passed and I really done my pregnancy on my own, my scans I done with my girl, like I gave my friends, like they took it in turns to come to my scans, my gender reveal, baby shower, everything I done it on my own, um, my baby moon, I went um, to I went to Dubai on my own, like a weirdo, but you know, me and my daughter are going to be travelling on our own all the time, I've just got someone to travel with now, like her guy. So I went for him whole pregnancy on my own and yeah, I'd never heard, I'd never heard from him. Like he would pre me from his friend's Instagram and they all got blocked because what the, and it, it's just annoying because we was all friends. Before I got pregnant, we was all friends. Do you know what I mean? Then I got pregnant and then it, everyone just divided and the only one I really fuck with from that group is Tori. But anyway, so, um... Yeah, so praise me now and again, but it w never heard of him, never tried to reach out to him, and that was it. So I have my baby uh, still. Didn't I didn't reach out to him to tell him the baby was born because I can't lie, I'm not trying to co-parent with him, and he didn't. Obviously, he knows the baby's born, but Birmingham's a small city, but he didn't reach out. Ten days after the baby was born, so bear in mind, he told me in april me and my ex are gonna have a baby so you're just gonna look like a side chick da -da -da -da. i was like you're deluded fuck off go away do you know what i mean I'm right there. yeah let me just hurry up this video i was like you do yeah i was like just go away like i didn't even reply i just blocked the number and carried on with my life then so 12 days so yesterday last night this nigga post a scan of a child and it's just like do you know what each their own like if you want to have a kid that's fine don't get me wrong if you want to have 50 kids that's your business because it's not going to affect my life it's not going to affect the baby's life but it's just like you was going out like the boy even said to me when i started my pregnant it's like let's try again in two years like let's have an abortion and try again in two years like do you really think i'm going to have an abortion and carry on fucking with you because I'm, I'm not. Like, if I would have had the abortion, I would have never spoke to him again. I would have never been able to look at him the same again. Just like now, I can never look at him the same. But if I would have had an abortion, it would have been a whole other level of hate for him. Do you know what I mean? Like, anyway, so this nigga posts a picture of a scan. And um, my phone, like, honestly, yesterday I was baffing my baby. Like, was baffing my ba I was baffing my baby. My phone blew up. My, f my phone was blowing up like have you saw have you, have you heard like have you heard and I'm like have I heard what and the worst thing is people don't even know how to tell me people don't even know how to tell me what's gone on do you know what I mean but it's just like this nigga is deluded is mad like I can't put into I, there's no other explanation like it's not like you know a baby's a shock don't get me wrong, it's a shock to the system, an unplanned pregnancy, it is a shock to the system, but it's just like, it's not that, well, you're 24, you're 24 and I'm 23, we're not kids, we could have really found a way to co-parent, we could have really found a way to make it not toxic for our child, do you know what I mean? Now, it's come to a point where she's not even going to know her dad, because I don't trust this boy enough. Even if he has to come round and say, oh, like, I want to get to know my daughter, it's just, like, that's dead. Because you've showed me over the last 12 months, 12 months, over the last 10 months I've been pregnant and, you know, she's almost two weeks old. You've shown me you're not trustworthy. You've shown me a whole other side to your character. Like, you're somebody that ran me down for two years. You chased me for two years before I got pregnant. You know, me and you, we was the best of friends before anything ever happened we was the best of friends so how the fuck you can go on the way you've gone on is beyond me and that is you've broken and you've broken a relationship now and it can never be fixed like there's no fixing it there's no going back and it's just like well done well done to you to whoever else, well done, because you were weirdo, and I, can't... I address this because if I don't, 
people are just going to keep assuming but that's it now done and dusted that's the truth the whole truth on god you know me you know me on god himself do you know what I mean? That's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The boy chased me for two years, then went mad. That's all I can say, he went mad, but all the best to him, and I let that situation go, I let it go, because it's not gonna, it's not feeding me, it's not feeding my child, it's not, it's nothing good can come from this situation, so each their own, let him, and his friends, his partners, do what they need to do. You know, Tori is not in that friendship group anymore because you're in mine, hello, get over here, Tori. And yeah, we move forward from it, do you know what I mean? Like, and girls, if you've ever been through, a, um, if you're going through an unplanned pregnancy, I'm here, I'm here because you better know my whole pregnancy is on YouTube, how to deal with the unplanned pregnancy. But it's life i brought a beautiful life into the world regardless of the circumstances now i was saying this to my ex the other day i was saying listen bruv like if abortion wasn't illegal so many girls would have babies do you know what i mean the only thing i've done in this situation is not kill my child i owned my shit i took responsibility i knew there was a i knew 99.9 I'm raising this child on my own just because and yeah and we're moving forward we're moving we move do you know what I mean it's not gonna be like this for the rest of my life like it's not that deep you know I still marry Drake because Drake's you know I was saying like not even to be an airhead but the fact that Drake's the son is like a year old than my daughter is perfect because now I don't have to have no more kids when I meet him do you know what I mean I just get my body back <laughs> I get my body back and then we've got a son and a daughter world class perfect but yeah thank you so much for tuning in i'll see you in my next video bye